In the coming days, Australians will have the opportunity to vote in the referendum on The Voice. I, for one, will be voting no. I've been on the public record for some time with that position. I feel it necessary to share that with South Australians and give you a couple of the reasons why I'll be voting no. I believe The Voice is divisive and I believe that it is dividing Australians along the lines of race. That really worries me because one of the great things about Australia is that while we're not perfect, we live in a fairly equal society where unlike other parts of the world, race and religion don't matter uh, in terms of getting ahead. And yes, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people suffer from disadvantage, but ingraining disadvantage in the constitution is almost an acceptance of it. And I really do not like that at all. Our constitution is the nation's rule book. When we put something in there, it's extremely hard to get it back out again. And the uncertainty as to how the voice will work uh, and what it will be made up of, who will be on it, how they will be elected to it, all those things really concern me. Australia is a country that I love so much. It's a country that's given me and millions of others so much opportunity. I do not want to see this country divided. We're seeing it divided through this debate. We need to come together and heal over the coming months. But on the 14th of October, I'll be following the advice of strong, inspiring Aboriginal women like Jacinta Price and Karen Liddell, two senators representing the Northern Territory in South Australia. They have been very clear that they're not voting for this voice because of its division, its uncertainty, and of course its permanency within the Constitution. So join me, join Karen, join Jacinta in voting no on the 14th of October.